here's how the game goes. We've got our three yellow bibs and each yellow bib has got a ball. That ball must go everywhere you go, yeah? If there's 16 of us, how many players are left? 15. No, no, 14. Jess, did you miss that class? That <laughs> subtract, yeah? 13. So we've got 13 other players. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 other players who are going to try to play as a team. You only have one ball for your team. Here's the idea of the game. You're going to try to keep possession of the one ball that you've got. You three, you're going to try and disrupt their passing. You can't tackle. And everywhere you go, the ball must go with you. All right? What you're trying to do is put so much pressure on the passers that their ball goes out the square or they give a bad pass. Then you get a point. Are you ready? Play! Good. Here they come. Here they come. Good girl. Good. Looking at how good you guys are, I'm going to make two people block us. So now we've got five blockers, but they've gained people, you've lost people. So you've only got 11 now. So Amber, I want you to organise your team so that you've got the best chance you can of getting the ball off the blue team. Blue team, over here, because you've now got to think of ways that are going to help you keep possession of that ball because they've got more players, you've got less. Yeah. You know, if, you know, if you all stayed this close together and you passed, talked and communicated and moved and communicated, would they be able to get the ball? If you were this close together? No. Yeah. Why would they? Because you're not using the width of the pitch. Brilliant. So your passing, moving and communication may work better if you're spread out. Brilliant. Ready? Play! Good. Oh, there's one to the yellows already. Play on blues. It's one nil to the yellows. Two nil because the ball's gone out. Amber, you've done a brilliant job. Two nil to the yellows. Good. Three nil. Play on. Three nil to the yellows. Good. Where's the pressure? Four nil to the yellows. You're doing a great job, guys. Four, five nil. Because you've just regained possession. You've got the ball off the other team five times in 42 seconds. Now, if this was a match and you were the blue team and you lost the ball five times in 42 seconds, what colour do you think your manager's face would be? Purple. <laughs> Red or purple, yeah? Black. So, there's something that the blues aren't doing as well as they might do. Brilliant. So, you know the things you said about passing, moving and communicating? How well have you done those? Yeah? I'm going to give you another chance now. Are you ready? Amber, is your team ready? Because they've just done a great job. Play! Good. 1-0 to the yellows. The manager's face is turning red. Or purple. I think it's gone purple. <laughs> well done. Here's play, play, play. Give that one to me. Oh, I like that, Shauna. That's it, spread out. Some of you guys in the blue are making the pitch really big. Is that six? No, she's still got it. <laughs> Amber, where's your ball? How well do you think you've done at that, Blues? 
not very. Eh? I thought there were times when you did really, really well, but it was when certain things happened. What do you think they were? Do you think you did really well when you were all bunched together? When losing space. Right, so when you open the game out, it makes it difficult for the yellows. And you get Amber leaving her ball and running 20 yards and kicking the ball away. Yeah, because you'd made the pitch big. Yeah. Do you think you did really well at it when no one talked to each other? No. No, so that point that Jess made earlier about communication is so important. Yeah. Are you getting... Oh, she's at it again, Amber. She's doing tactics again. Hey. What's she saying? One of them comes in and pressures, pressures them, and then the other, others like Mark and stand in between the other blues. Blimey. Is she a coach? Yeah. <laughs> She's a Captain. good one, isn't she? She's got it Captain. right. Yeah. What does it mean when you put pressure on someone? They're, they're it's making them like lose nervous. the ball and nervous. They're, they're, yeah. they're losing so control like, of themselves. So is that a good thing for you yeah. guys? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I tell you what, I think you guys had better be good at passing, moving and communicating because they've got a great tactic. We've, yeah. We've done one, be nice. Are you ready? <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Ready? Amber? What's the? Oh, we're going to use that in a minute. Yeah, don't ignore that at the moment. Uh, would you say the Blues are in a very good position? No. Do you think they're spread out? You can use the whole of the pitch, guys. Don't worry about those blue ones. They're going to come in a minute. So you're in space. You're in great space. And do you know... You've been in space for most of this game, so I've noticed that, yeah? Ready? Play. Amber's getting the pressure sorted. Good, Shana. Open the game out. Oh, that is better, Blues. You like playing with the pressure? This is much better. Let's see how big they've made the pitch. If I explain in this half, what's going to happen over here is exactly the same, right? So with 10, I'm going to have, we'll try 7 against 3. A similar game. So these three in yellow, and you're trying to disrupt the passing. Over here, yeah, do you want to try 6 against 3 in there? Yeah. So this team's trying to keep that ball. This team's trying to keep that ball. I'm going to choose one player from this team and one player from that team to be the trigger. The trigger player, when they get the ball, they can choose to pass it across. But he must make sure it goes to another player of the same colour. Yeah, it must go to a blue. So you don't just knock it across to nobody, because you wouldn't do that in a match, would you? So he triggers it, he decides to pass the ball across there. This team's got a choice now. You can pass your ball across, or you can try and keep the two. But you're only successful if you can keep the two balls for as long as you can, or you can trigger and pass your ball across. You trigger your team, yeah? And it's going to come from this side first. Ready? Play! Good boy. Do you know what's going on over here, guys? Oh, hey, has it come? Oh, good lad. Well done. Oh, good decision. Good decision. Got the idea of the game? Who triggered it? Yeah? Your ball go there, and your ball came here. Yeah? You're going to trigger it now for your team. That means you can make the pass, or you can let your team know that you want them to pass it that way. If you're playing this side now, because when the game started, I watched the players here, and everybody was focusing there. Can you do that all the time? No. Why not? Because Yeah. Because it might be you, you're in the best place to have their ball from them. 
So if you start looking in, you ain't going to see what's on. What can you do? Yeah. So the game is almost going to force you to take up those positions. Yeah. It's going to be triggered from this side. Play. Oh, hey, you've got two. You've got two to deal with. What are you going to do? Good. Oh. Can you? Can you? <laughs> He's dribbling them both. Well done. Good boy. Right. This side's going to trigger, but you can't pass it. What are you going to do? Dribble with it. Good boy. Good. Keep that ball moving. Keep it moving. He's gone. He's gone. Somebody's got to take it over. Well done. Play, play, play. Same player trigger. You're going to trigger it again. 